Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here today doing a little project. This was the card that Mary sent me and Gwendolyn asked that I try and make one, show you how to make one. <laughs> I don't know, I told you this is the things that make my brain hurt. So we'll see how we how we go um, and I'll give you measurements and everything along the way. I am going to do it kind of in a Christmas motif because I thought I could probably use it for one of my Christmas cards. So anyway, I want to say hi and hugs to Mary who made the card and Gwendolyn who asked me to see if I could figure it out and show you guys. So that's what we're up to today. Let's see how we do. So first thing I'm going to do is unfold it and see if I can see the dimensions. Okay, so it's 12 one way. So it's the, you know, the length of a 12 by 12 paper. Um, the triangle itself has to be 12, doesn't it? Yes. So it's a 12 by 12 by 12 triangle. I'm going to cheat a little bit and um, just mark this so that, you know, we're not here forever, me trying to figure it out. But yeah, so it's a 12 by 12 by 12 triangle. I'm going to just put this down here and just mark it. But, I mean, you guys will have to measure, obviously you don't have one of these at your disposal yeah I um they, they really do these kind of things just boggle my brain boggle my brain but I think we can figure it out I think there's going to be some scoring I'll give you those measurements as well so so far we're at a 12 by 12 by 12 triangle right Okay, so I'm going to cut that. Uh, one thing I should say is when I was trying to pick out papers, I picked out something that wasn't directional because I thought, you know, that probably wouldn't work very well. Okay, so how do I do this? 12. I can't tell if it's on. So I think I'll just, I think you guys maybe want to do it the same way. I think I'm just going to cut it. I mean, maybe you make your marks with your um, ruler and then cut it because I'm not seeing how to do it another way on the cutter, I mean. through like that and then this side ooh I didn't get it quite at the corner and I bet that could be a problem so I am now gonna try and do that yeah I would have had trouble folding probably and I may still <laughs> just saying I have no idea how this is gonna turn out guys none so, okay. You might recall Mary was the gal that asked the beginner questions, which that was so much fun to do. And um, I think really helped a lot of people. So thank you for that, Mary. And as many people said, Mary, if you can make that card, you can make a journal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So, okay. So there we go. There's that. Okay. And so then. Okay. Let's see what the first fold is. So the first fold is. About. Five and a sixteenth about between a sixteenth and an eighth. 
looks like a 16th. Let's see if this one is the same. Yep, about five and a 16th. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna score them. Um, let's see, I think, do I wanna score this? Oh, it's so confusing because I can't just score. This one I could. I'm going to have to move it off a little bit. Okay, I guess you can. Oh, this is hurting my brain. Okay, so I just have five and an eighth. So I'm moving it half, um, half a line from here so that I can get the 16th. Does that make sense? But I feel like that's not straight. Did I do this wrong? Well, it kind of looks right. <laughs> but see how if I that there then this but this is at an angle hmm I'm a bit baffled I'm a bit baffled you guys who know how to do things like this better are probably not okay okay so here's what you got to do okay you have to have this side straight on um straight on a score line okay so but I want to move it off just slightly so I'm looking it looks pretty good so I'm going to go down the five and an eighth and we're going to hope for the best how about Oop. okay all right so I did that so now I'm going to turn it one and do the same thing try and line it up okay and five and eight okay and then I'm going to put this straight on again go okay and then five and an eighth okay now I'm making that go that way I kind of wanted it to go the other way I think it'll be okay even though I mess up my hills and valleys okay there's that one, that one, and that one. Okay, so just to reiterate, make sure your right side is um, exactly on a score line so that it's straight. Okay, now this one is is three and three eighths this fold so i'm gonna try the very same kind of thing and get it straight on the score line okay and three and three eighths is oh, I just moved it. Oh, I don't know, Gwendolyn. You might owe me after this one. <laughs> oh, Gwendolyn's so great. She's one of those people that just makes me laugh on every um, every comment she leaves. Okay, so far so good. 
Okay, so now we're going to line this side up. Um, yeah, she does really make me laugh. She's just a funny lady and has such a great sense of humor. But love her as I do. She still may owe me <laughs> on this one. Okay, there's that one. Okay, line up again. Okay. And three and three eighths. <sighs> okay. So these are going to fold out this away. Right? <laughs> I think I might be doing it. I think I might have did it. <laughs> okay, I hope those directions were clear enough. I, yeah. So. So. And then she folds the last one up under the flower like that. Okay, so. So I have some flowers that I thought these are ones I made out of um, out of petals that I just got at Hobby Lobby or wherever. Um, so what goes here? Maybe this one. Oh yes! How awesome is that? Okay, just the right size and everything. All right, so how'd you put that on there? Okay, she pop dotted that baby onto like this one, right on the edge. She pop dotted it. I don't even know if I, I don't think I have pop dots, do I? Um, let me think for a second. I were a pop dot in this craft room, where would I live? I'm not very much of a pop top, pop dot girl, but I feel like it might, I don't know. I think I can just glue it. I think it'll be okay if I just glue it. Okay. Yeek. I'm so nervous about this whole thing. Okay, so I am just I'm just gonna glue down the brad that is holding the flower together right on the edge. That's my plan. Okay, and then we're gonna have to wait for that to dry. But it's okay. Okay, right in the middle and right on the edge. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to leave that alone to dry. And I need to think about, so see how Mary did this awesome stamp here in the middle and she did a little bit there. I think what I might do is do a piece of coffee dyed paper to put in the middle of mine and stamp on it. Let's think about a stamp. Okay. Have my Christmas stamps here. I need one. May the love and light of Christmas fill your heart. And I could put that right there. Or right there. Okay. I think I might do that. Um, so let's think about a bit of coffee dyed paper, perhaps. This is kind of nice. This is fairly, you know, not too patterned. Okay, so then... 
This is like six. This is six. Ooh, that makes sense. That it's six. So your inside triangle is six, if that helps at all. These are less because of some reason. <laughs> they were like five and five and a couple ticks less than six. <sighs> okay. So six by a six tri a triangle that's six. Okay, so I'm going to first cut this so that it's six inches. Let me just move my card slightly so I have room. Okay, so I'm going to do this. No, I don't want six because I want it to be a bit smaller. So what if I do five and a half? And then I'm going to do five and a half this way. And okay, so if it's five and a half, then five and a half. So then it would be two and three quarters would be the middle, right? I'm just going to put a mark there. And I'm going to go from my sides to my mark. If that makes any sense at all. Okay. Okay, so now I'll cut those. I'm just going to go right on the inside of my pencil line so that the pencil doesn't show, although it would be easily erased as well. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so am I going to fit in there? Well, now, why would that be too big? I don't know. But it is. So, I'm just going to... I think what I'll do is... I might have... I was thinking of doing something decorative at the top, but I think I think I'm just going to cut it off right about there. Like that. I don't know. I'm totally winging this whole thing. See, it's not as enough of an angle. So weird. I don't see that's the stuff that boggles my brains. I, I don't understand why that didn't work. <laughs> oh, Gwendolyn. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see how you do. We'll see how you do. You let me know, Gwendolyn, if you try this. She had the idea, which is a great idea. You might have saw it in the comments of, um, making some of these stars and putting them up in her kitchen window for a decoration. So you wouldn't have to go to all this business, but yep, that's okay. But I kind of want something decorative at the top so it looks a little more intentional. Let's just, let's just use um, this. And yeah, I like that better. Okay. All right. 
Okay, here we go. Now, um, we need to, I think I'm going to turn it that way. It's got a little something right there. Okay, so now we need to see where our stamp will work. Oh, please work and don't get yucky because then I have to do redo the piece of paper. <laughs> that would be disastrous. I might start to cry. <laughs> okay, let's just do our best. We'll just do our best. It's only paper. It's only paper, Gail. Okay. I obviously got this at a garage or estate sale. Oh, yes, it worked. Okay, awesome. Now, we need to put it, we need to put that Need to glue it down right here. Okay. I think I'm going to distress the edges a little bit. I think my flower's on there pretty well. It's kind of fun because it still leaves uh, room down here to say Merry Christmas. Gail and Mike or something. If I can find a big enough envelope for this guy. Heaven knows with all my envelopes I should have enough. I might send this to my brother and his wife for Christmas if it continues to turn out. <laughs> okay. Okay, well let's just put that down there. Well, thank you for the inspiration, Mary, and thank you, Gwendolyn, for asking, I think. <laughs> oh, I read on my glue sticks. I had to get a new glue stick, and I never read this before, but it said on there to do at least 10 strokes, or no, not 10, two, to do at least two strokes when you're, when you're gluing down. So those of you who have asked me the question, I use Uhu, but it doesn't stick. I think that might be why I always tell you I'm a bit heavy handed, but apparently I'm doing what I was told, even though I didn't know it. So, okay, so far so good on that. Now I'm thinking I'd kind of like to distress this whole card. That's what I'm thinking. It's just, it shows very lightly, which is kind of, kind of okay. It'll show more on the other side, I think. just um, have to shake my head at myself how difficult these kind of things are for my brain. It's probably good though. It's like I said to Gwendolyn, I will, I will do this because I haven't done anything that hurt my brain in a while. <laughs> I think it's good for me. Oh, Okay, and so then that little bit's going to show right there and right here. And the rest of it I'm not going to worry about because it'll just...
Okay, so then, okay, so here's this. And she put some fun little decorations on the corners. You know, I gotta think about where those are, but I have some things that might work. So let's try it. Okay, well, let's see. Nope, this one, this one, nope. This one, this one. This one. Oh, I think I need to use my bone folder cause on this part because it's a little, it's poking up a little bit. Maybe on all of it, actually. I'm just going to say my corner right here isn't meeting as perfectly as hers did, but if that's all, then I'm okay with that. Okay. <laughs> that's exciting. Okay. So now there's hers. There's mine. I wanted to try and do a little decoration there. I think in my die cuts, let me just look here. Um, I think it's this one. Yeah. I have some little pieces that these were punches that were at my um, scrapbook house where I had my retreat. So I don't know where you would get them, um, but I did some punching out. Looks like I have three of these. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna have to punch out some more of those. And this is kind of um, velvet paper. I don't think it's a sticker, is it a sticker? kind of feels like it but I cut my fingernails this morning oopsie oh I think it might be a sticker yeah is it yes okay so we'll fiddle with these till we can pull off the papers and stick them down should know better than to um, cut my fingernails. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so happy with this. It really did turn out. I just honestly thought this was going to be a blooper video because I just couldn't wrap my head around. But it's kind of like once you start... Um, Once you start measuring, it starts to kind of make sense, sort of, <laughs> kind of, sort of. Not to me, but hopefully it will to you. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy with this. I'm happy I had these little things. See, these have been sitting in my craft room for a couple of years, and I rarely use them. But boy, oh boy, that's well, that's why our husbands don't understand our craft supplies. It's like, yeah, but I might need it. And I did, and it was the perfect thing. So, okay, guys, there's my little card. There it is. I did it. I did it. I did it. Okay. How are we doing time-wise? Oh, that it only took me half an hour. <laughs> so Gwendolyn set aside an afternoon 
for the ones. And then, you know, like she can hang a little something right there and just hang those in her window. That'll be super cute, Gwendolyn. You might have to email me a picture or send it on my website or something. So there we go. There's Mary's, there's Gail's, and got some kind of cool leftovers that could be pockets. Yes, they could. So anyway, thanks for bearing with me for that. Um, and let's, let's see. Oh, I know what I can show you or what I can do is let's do a flip through of the religious journal and then I can, I'm going to randomly list it on my Etsy. So yeah, let's do that. Let's do that little flip through. So I put eyelets on it. So it ties with this um, crinkled seam binding. And this is the cover again, that it was ugly scrapbook paper that I didn't like and I jelly printed over it. And um, I was thinking about putting an image on the front, but then I thought, you know, I'm going to wait and let whoever, whoever gets this journal do that because, or not, whichever they prefer. Cause I, I kind of like it as is. I just, I didn't want to cover up the paper too much. So, okay. So off we go and we have a little pocket. We have a little piece of Christmas stationery back there for your Christmas list. A little tag that we made from scratch scraps. Um, a jelly printed page that has a little um, die cut on it. This is one of the first um, of the of the uh, Don't Freak Out Before Christmas um, pieces that's in here. We'll tag the little girl and and this one. And this one and I'm thinking I kind of want something right there is what I, you know <laughs> so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put joy to the world because this is you'll recall I used tsunami rose digitals and they're um, more of a religious theme they have angels and they have um, they have the holy family and a little a lot of things like that so joy to the world oh or oh come let us adore him that's the one I want I love these little words from these are from calico collage on Etsy calico collage so They've got some, you know, Santa Clausy type Christmas sayings and then some religious. So that's a nice mix, I would say. Okay, so this is only gonna take a second. I'm just gonna distress it and put it on. Sorry, little has a little hesitation in our flip through here. But yeah. I thought making that star might take me the whole hour so <laughs> I didn't really have a backup plan but this works great because it's sitting over there it's all done and it just needs to get on my Etsy okay perfect yep I like that just a little something there Okay, and then this is one of the digitals, and they're crinkly coffee dyed. This one's real crinkly. A couple of doilies, some coffee dyed paper, another one of the digitals. And then this is a, um, a window envelope, and it has in it, it has this little Merry Christmas card. This is a Stamperia journaling card. So that goes in there. In the back we have um, a tag that I made with some of Artie Mays' Christmas stackable kit. Let's see, 
this goes behind so I kind of have to pull it up okay and then as well in here is this little card with the little angels at the piano and this is kind of a double pocket here and so I just have this little tag in this um, side of it and then the that tag uh, ideal magazine book this is this fun thing that I got in Happy Mail that opens up and it's got, it's got some paper in there. I need to make some of, one of those for my idea book, I think. Then there's this tag that slides behind. Like so. This one. Um, the little sack has one of the images from Taylor made journals and some pieces from happy mail. And this is as well, um, postcard pocket from the Christmas stackables from Artie Mays, this little tag from scraps and this little journaling card from scraps as well. Okay, the digital. This is a little Rita Donnelly flip that we made together. I found this um, angel card in my stash and put it behind and then this angel tag, which I have seen this very tag made several times on, um, on Facebook or Instagram. So <laughs> that's fun. And I don't know, had I put the glitter on her wings when we worked on her? I can't remember. Um, Artie Mays, these little uh, Christmas uh, songs. And um, this is a little glassine bag that's got this journaling card in it. And then this was from a scrap as well. This little journaling card slips in the back. There's this with these are little um, these are little pieces of coffee dyed paper where you could put a little memory or a little list or something. And then there's two full pages of um, avocado dyed paper, one in the pocket here and then one behind. And there um, the edges are gilded with gold inca gold um the middle here i have a snowflake and i have some christmas bells charms on the bottom then this piece has the little writing um little writing cards and um and then behind it is a tag journaling on the back and a notebook those just slip in the top. This little piece got this. This is from Dreams Etc. And I think this one's from Artie Mays. I just decorated that little tag with. Okay. Another Artie Mays pocket with another scrap journaling card that I made that folds out three times. You could, you have three surfaces to write on there and a fourth, a fifth. So it's, there's a lot of journaling space on that little guy. This is a little paper clip with a little, um, a little journaling card that I made with decoupage napkin, little Tim Holtz. And then this is a belly band with journaling card, large journaling card behind. Then this is a vellum uh, middle pocket with this large journaling tag. And the bird just shows through the vellum there. Little tuck here with tiny little tags. There's four tiny little tags. So there's this one. There's a teeny weeny one over here. One here. 
and one here. And it was all Florentine paper, so I did not decorate the top because I just don't know if you can improve on Florentine paper. <laughs> and behind there, I have a little um, piece of Christmas stationery and a Christmas card with the Holy Family. There's the doilies. And then the back page has this um, glassine bag lace at the bottom. And then it's got this large journaling card on the inside here. And then back has a pocket, a couple of journaling cards. So that's the religious journal all done. I've signed it and it's ready to go in my Etsy shop. So um, after this video airs, I'll randomly post it at some point so it can go to its home. So there you have that. So um, I know I'm a little early, but I think I'll call that good because I just really don't have anything else prepared. Um, I've got, I've got, well, let me show you this. <laughs> Never mind. Let me show you this. Okay. So I'm working on now this journal. This is a home book and treasure kit and that I have printed on the, um, coffee dyed ish looking paper that I have in my shop or in my, uh, favorite things from, that you can order from Amazon. So I've put in, I've put the things in where I want them to be. So um, I just have to glue them in and stuff. This is, um, this is a Crafty Cat USA, one of her digitals. But yeah, so I just got things kind of put in where I want them and I have, I mean, I have this whole big thing of ephemera still. So, oh, I didn't pick one of these though, did I? I should do that, pick one of these. I think this one goes nicely, actually. So where can I put it is my only thing. Because it's, it's full, it's got lots of stuff. It's kind of nice right there. Okay, I'm going to put that in there. I'm glad I looked at that. Yeah, so um, so I think I have good stuff to fill up. I have this pocket too, which I'm thinking of my the other things I have to make, and I don't think I have a spot for that. So what if we, let's see, that on that side. What if we put it on the other side here, like right there? Why not? Why you, you know, I mean, it's okay if I have some stuff left for next year, but I want to use most of it. So, okay. So anyway, that's, that's my next one to kind of work on. And, um, I realized you know, I haven't done a cinch journal in a long time. So I'm thinking about maybe doing that on camera next is, is my thought with, um, I've got some pinky Christmas stuff that might be fun to work with. I'm also, I'm also working on this one and just haven't, haven't completed this one. So those are the two that I are in the works and furthest along, shall we say. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Have a grateful day. And we will just see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.